Hey, what's going on guys? So we're kicking off the 30 minutes madness with the Alto flight type Navy color version. So really like this new version. Uh, it just really captures a really cool look of like a flight type mecha unit. It looks really cool. It's very slim. It's got the wings, of course. It's got to have wings. And the Navy color looks pretty cool as well. The color I'm not really too concerned about because it can be painted. So that, that said, the kit does look pretty good just straight out the box in that nice Navy color. So we got the typical format here. We got the 30 minutes missions logo, the name, a big CG render of the kit there and then some cool action shots back there in the background with uh, the regular Alto fighting there on the ground and then a couple of uh, uh, flight type here. So it looks pretty cool. Over here on the side we can see this is number 15 in the lineup down here on the bottom of the box. It's just showing you that it's a snap fit kit that doesn't need any glue and all you need is nippers really to put this together so that's how it's going to look. And this one appears to be an image without the actual painting on it. So it's a pretty small image but still you can get the idea that it's, it's going to look pretty good without painting. Over here an actual painted sample build in a cool action pose. It does also have the Roy Roy support mech in there as well looks like once again looking very cool there and then a couple other action shots are just kind of like flying shots it's not really doing too much action just kind of flying along there but it does have these two rifles which looks like can be also mounted up onto the wings if you wanted to mount those up there then you could hold some different weapons but I think those are the only weapons that it comes with I believe and it looks like you can build just the regular Alto with this kit if you wanted in this navy color if you wanted to. that would omit some of the parts but then of course you could use some of those parts on a different kit with all the parts being all very interchangeable being able to be used with each other and mix mix and match and all that good stuff so we'll take a look at all that here in a moment once we get it all built up and then it does have a customized plan here you can use some other different custom weapons and stuff with this as demonstrated here in the photo it looks like those are some custom weapons from all of these weapon sets here all right let's get this popped open and we've got some dark gray some dark navy some black and some more d dark navy here with a little bit of like a medium gray and one little clear green part there it looks like let's take a look at the manual top of the manual we've got that action shot from the front of the box but now in like the full color without the filter over that we got some very tiny english over here we've got that information there in japanese and english about the story and then about the alto flight type and roy roy down there and then for this uh, sample custom here it looks like they're using they're just kind of showing you what they're using for the body they're using parts from the alto flight type navy as well as the alto blue version in there and then using these weapons the arm units rifle large claw the option weapon one for alto and then the uh, option armor for long range sniping so using some of those parts there to make this custom unit so that's pretty cool around here on the back of the manual it's showing you some of the conversion points throughout the body so where you can easily mix and match some of the parts there at the different conversion points once again just pointing out the different hard points here again and how you can mix and match between the different kits again that's just showing a mix of alto and portanova parts there it looks like and then once again that kind of custom build with all the different options and stuff all right then getting into our parts list which is listed here in color so that's pretty cool and then our construction. So the construction is relatively simple for these. They're not really too complicated to put together, relatively simple. So you just go through all the construction here and then back around on our color pages. It's finishing up the flight unit there. Flight unit one and flight unit two, I guess is maybe just different configurations of that or just different steps of that. I guess this is building like the wing part and this is building the kind of uh, thruster binders kind of down there and optional parts down here it looks like as well. So it's kind of a lot that we can get into with this. So let's just get cracking and we'll see what we can make. All right, so we do have some stickers here. It looks to be like the same sticker sheet that you got with the regular Alto. It's just some numbers in white and black in three different sizes, large, medium, and small. Also got a couple of polycaps here, PC7 for some polycap ball joints. So it seems like the first couple runners, runners A and B are just from the original Alto kit. So those will give you all the parts to make just the Alto in navy. But here is runner A with some medium gray parts along the bottom, top and up upper corner there. The one clear green part, which does also look pretty nice for the visor and then a bunch of dark navy. And then we're gonna be here in black for most of our joint parts and all of that. Then we get to the flight type parts. So here's when our UTA and it's marked 30 minutes missions um, multi booster unit. And we've got two of this UTA runner. And then UTC1 is marked 30 minutes missions uh, flight unit A. And we also have UTC, this is all still in navy. And then runner UTD here for the 30 minutes missions flight unit A. Once again, these parts in gray, just for some more gray parts for the flight type, as well as the weapons parts, the rifle, 
cannon parts as you can see on there as well. Alright, but that is it for the parts. Let's get it built and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so here's how it's going to look straight out of the box and it didn't take, it took uh, around 30 minutes. It took a little bit more but I was doing, I was live streaming while building it, and that's also I should say for just the snap building part of it. For actually cutting out the parts and uh, getting rid of all the nubs and putting it together, it's probably going to take you a little bit more than 30 minutes, probably more like an hour even still if you're working pretty quickly. But for me, just the actual just snapping the kit together took about 30 minutes. But again, I was doing it live, so I was also kind of chatting with people in the live stream as well. So, But if you've built a couple of these kits or even one of them before, you should be pretty familiar with how this goes together. And the construction is very simple, but it's, it's pretty solid and the articulation is pretty nice on these. So we've got a lot of nice detail on there, tons of detail all over the place, which is nice as well. And of course, plenty of options for customizing the kit. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to stick with what's included in this box. I'm not going to get into how you could customize this using parts in different sets and like mixing and matching like that. We'll just focus on just what is only included in the box with this kit. So on that note, let us take a look at what else was included with the kit. Of course, we have the Roy Roy here as well, which you can use as a head if you want. You just take off the legs, just pop that on in place of the head. And of course you can do all sorts of different stuff with this as it just has a hard point there on the back and a hard point here on the top. Good to do like that or you know whatever you want to do with that. We have the original feet and again you can make the full on just regular alto with this kit. So just all those parts are here. You have the original alto feet. You have the original alto knee parts with that squarish connection there in the back. You have the original alto chest part and face part which are replaced. And then you have the original Alto lower legs if you didn't like the flight type longer, thinner legs. Then as far as like actual option parts for this, we have the handles for the rifles on the back. Pull that off the backpack and then this part you'll just take off and plug the handle on in its place. Then it can be as a handheld weapon. And then we have these bits which are, I guess are supposed to be just sort of like binders. Or, I don't know, something to help it fly I guess. According to the manual, they're meant to be plugged onto these parts here when they're plugged on when these are when you're using these for legs which we'll see in a moment but anyway of course you can get creative with it and plug these on just kind of anywhere you could plug them like up onto the underside of the wing or something something like that but I don't know you can get creative with that like I said so let's talk a little bit about the articulation I won't get into it too much about the articulation of the main body because it's exactly the same as the regular Alto which we previously reviewed so if you want to see more about that specifically you can check out that video but you'll see I'll do I'll show you some different poses and stuff and you'll be able to get an idea of the articulation overall the articulation is good. The new head parts don't uh, bother the articulation of the head at all, but just to show you this to you guys, it does have the green visor in there, but with these flight type head parts on there, you can't really see the visor all that well back in there. It's kind of dark. As for the new parts, the much larger knee armor doesn't really get in the way of anything also, so you can just have the original just full bend there at the knee like that, so that's not bothered at all. And then the ankle also, is the joint is exactly the same, so Anyway, that the original foot moves it's on a ball joint and then it can also swing side to side there. Uh, anyway, the original kit moves. This one is going to move as well down there with the different legs. Now, as for the backpack, this is just plugged on there like that, just straight onto the back. Now, you would think that this would be pretty useful on other different kits as well, but because it has these little lip on the top and bottom of there, might not fit onto the back of other kits quite so well, other non 30 minute mission kits. So the backpack is made up of a couple sections, the center section there and you have this middle section and then this side section there and then the actual wing. So at the wing you have a point of rotation there, you can also move that up and down and then for this section you can also rotate that and then at this section you can also rotate that and this middle section here with that hard point is where the cannon is going to plug onto there or the rifle and then on the underside of that is where this booster part is going to plug onto there. Now this can also move up and down, you can also rotate this side to side and then this also has a bend in that as well because this these parts can also serve as legs if you wanted as well and then these also have these bits on the end which will open up like that so some pretty cool articulation built into these. So the backpack is very articulated. It has points of articulation everywhere all over, all over that. And then for a quick comparison there it is with the regular Alto and I just went ahead and switched out the knees and the chest piece and the face plate of the Alto flight type here just to show how you can mix and match the parts of your leftover parts from this kit you can use on different versions of the Alto to mix and match. The parts are exactly the same it would just be mixing and matching the colors for those so you could make some cool different custom colors with these kits without having to paint anything which is pretty cool. Alright so as for the leg option here what you need to do is take off this part here at the back of the leg. You can pull the flight type legs off. They actually need that knee joint so that needs to stay there. And then remove the booster 
out the back and this is, these parts are some of the parts that are available as a separate add-on set which we'll take a look at a little bit later. Need to remove this little part here at the top, there we go. Plug this on in place of that. The back of the knee back on there like that and there is your optional uh, booster legs which are pretty cool so those have the extra joint there at the bottom like that, that you can use and these are pretty awesome looking and so yeah the booster legs definitely give you a really cool option with this and honestly I would kind of have a hard time deciding between the two of them so it is really good that the booster parts there are sold as a separate set so you could use those and have them on the backpack at the same time or you know with the legs and then I don't know if you could you know you could pose it up like this without the using the flight type legs or you could try also using the flight type legs on there, I guess, in some way. You could plug them onto wherever using the same connection piece that you took off the booster units. You could plug that onto the legs uh, in like the same way and then plug them onto there somewhere. So there's a lot of different things you could do with this. And as you guys can see, just again, I didn't go through the articulation of the main kit in detail, but as you can see, it is very nicely articulated. And also on the note of seam lines, there's pretty much nothing in the way of seam lines on this except for a little bit on the wings. And I think that is pretty much gonna be about it. So very easy kit to work with, just in terms of getting it posed up in a cool pose. You don't really have to do much in as far as like any modification to the joints to get it to pose however you want. And then just painting the kit also gonna be very easy. Very little prep work to do in terms of getting rid of seam lines or anything like that. So even though these kits are small and cheap, usually that means they're gonna take a little bit more work to actually get them ready to paint. In this case, you know, they're actually pretty much almost ready for paint just straight out of the box just a little bit of sanding on there just to get the surfaces all prepped and everything and you'd be good to go so very cool all right so then just to kind of wrap up the video i just wanted to try my hand at making is some sort of custom with this and again this is only just using just whatever was included with the box and this took me like 30 seconds to come up with you know just moving some of the parts around but uh, i think it really does illustrate how easily customizable these parts are because i'm actually pretty happy with this custom is actually pretty cool looking i think and in, yeah like i said i just moved a couple of parts around and it works pretty well so I mean all the different hard points everywhere make it really easy to just plug stuff on kind of wherever you want and the parts uh, you know they have a ton of detail and they're just kind of very universally designed so that like some parts that maybe are meant to be legs can also look like boosters and parts that are meant to be uh, for the weapons or like other add-on like the binder parts on the top can also just kind of look like whatever you want it to look like so I think in that sense uh, the customizability of these is really fun and can be really quick. I mean, you can just swap around parts really easily. It doesn't require a lot of taking things apart, just kind of pull things apart, put it back together in different ways. And so you can try out a lot of different custom ideas without having to actually like take much stuff apart, take much time to take things apart and possibly breaking stuff and things like that. It's very easy to do. So really fun kit to work with. Definitely a lot more fun than just the regular Alto. The regular Alto is cool. Very simple, but this one, you know, having a lot more going on with it made it just a lot more fun, uh, of course. So we'll take a look at some more, plenty more 30 Minutes Missions kits now for the next week or so. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at the Portanova Space Type, and then after that, we got a bunch of different option paros and things, and we've also got the Portanova Marine Type and also the Alto Ground Type as well. So plenty of more kits to take a look at, and we'll do more mixing and matching and customizing and things like that before. I have to get down to actually making a decision about some sort of custom to work on for myself actually painting the kit and everything like that. So in the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the kits over there on USA Gundam store. We've got plenty of different stuff there you guys can check out. And if you have any other further questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below. And as always guys, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.